off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hi friends! <laughs> How are you doing? Oh man, I have sore legs today and I don't know why. I literally didn't do anything yesterday or over the weekend. Um, it is, what day is it? Tuesday morning. Um, and yesterday was Jason's colonoscopy. And ironically, as tired as we were, I took three naps. To be fair, the first one was only 20 minutes long while I waited for Jason to be done for his colonoscopy and Ashley was getting ready for school. Second one was when we got home from his colonoscopy, passed out, fully intentional, laid down on the couch. My third nap was, again, it was probably about an hour and a half and it was through dinner time. <laughs> again, intentional, because I just could not keep my eyes open. So despite the fact that I took three naps, Jason took a solid two and a half hour nap. Let me, like we got stuff done yesterday. <laughs> show you what we did in the backyard. Also, we are kind of stocking up. We, we didn't really film this yesterday and we're not going to. <laughs> we had some extra money and so we have been stocking up on some food supplies. That's why we cleaned out the garage. I'll show you out there. We're just sick of going to the store for a bunch of stuff all the time. So we had some extra money that came in and we just went shopping <laughs> online. I ordered it all online. Um, just because it just made more sense to do it that way. And uh, I'll show you the garage too, because that was part of what we worked on yesterday. But all of a sudden, um, well, we went to Costco uh, to get some uh, just supplies for the business. We needed some Clorox wipes and trash bags and toilet paper, things for the business. Um, and, and we needed it as well. And while we were there, Jason got me my hanging basket. I always get a hanging basket for Mother's Day. And normally I don't get it, I don't even get it before Mother's Day because the weather is usually not so good. But we are heading into 90 degree weather. It is not gonna stick around, but it will stay into the 70s and 80s all this week and then we'll have, hang on. So it, we're gonna have awesome sunny weather for easily 14 days. And I was like, get the hanging basket now so that I can get it out and get some sunshine. And I chose one that will do partial shade because the ones that I've gotten in the past need full, full sunshine and they just never survive. So we got the hanging basket. I'll show you that. Um, but it got Jason, <laughs> he got itching to work on things. And I honestly wish I had shown the before of even just the patio area here. Um, he did not put away that last little extension cord, but I'm going to hold him to it because he was like, eh, I just didn't feel like it. But this yard waste bucket is now full again. Is it full with the stuff left over from the front yard? No, it is not. It is full from him um, raking all of the underbrush over here, but also he trimmed the trees here and then he trimmed this bush was like coming clear over the little um, patio over here and then this tree, um, we want it to grow up and not necessarily out and so he's been trying to trim it on this side. So he had all that stuff so he raked it all up and then I realized, hey honey, we have three bags of mulch. Can we put that down really quick? So he put that mulch down but it looks so much better out here and we got it all swept off and these chairs are so bad, but we have big plans for this um, space we don't use very much because it's so small, but we're trying to like update the space on a budget. Um, what I really want to do, and I might go and look today because I have time, is I want some concrete paint. I think this is concrete and I think they just stamped it with like a really weird color. I don't even know. But I want to put some concrete paint down because this just looks and feels and is dirty all the time. And I just want to freshen up the ground. And then we're going to put this um, fireplace, tuck it over into that corner when we're not using it. I need to stand in the sunshine because it's cold over there in the shade. Oh, that feels so good. 
It feels so good. And then um, I think Friday, because we have such good weather coming, um, Jason and I are gonna go down to Walmart and we're and and I say that because our Walmart is like 35 to 40 minutes away, sometimes 45 minutes away. It is the only Walmart closest to us, um, one that we feel safe going to. There is another one it's not safe to go to. <laughs> it's near Seattle. It's not safe to go to. Um, so it's kind of like a journey, like we're making a day of it and we're gonna go down and we're gonna pick up some lawn chairs um, now that you know Abby is not having her surgery this summer, um, that was the intention of cleaning up this backyard initially, to create a space for her to relax and enjoy the sunshine, but where she didn't have to talk to anyone, she didn't have to explain why she couldn't open her mouth, being close to being able to make her own smoothies and milkshakes from home. Um, and I just wanted her to be able to get outside and have some um, sunshine and feel the warmth. So we're gonna get some lawn chairs still, because we still want that. We don't wanna take it, that away from her. It, it, she's kind of a homebody to begin with. So we still wanna create the space, and the teenagers love to hang out here and do the fire pit and s'mores um, during the summer anyway. Um, but we don't have enough chairs, and so we're gonna get lawn chairs, we're gonna get chairs, and we're gonna get an umbrella, because even though this is a very shady um, backyard during the summer and the peak of the summer, it is stiflingly hot back here. And so I um, just want a little bit of a shade to kind of block your eyes when you're laying on a lawn chair, um, but still be able to get sun for the rest of the space. We're not done working back here, but it was a good start and it, it was a good motivator to kind of get going on it. And let me show you my hanging baskets out front. All right, isn't she so pretty? There's the one, and normally I only get one. But this one was only 22 bucks, and the big one I usually get is like 38, 39 dollars. And so I finagled Jason into getting two for the price he would have paid for one. <laughs> and this is the one that can handle some partial shade. Um, I think that's fuchsias. I think that's what they're called. I'm not good with plants, um, but I don't have the little hanging basket attachment. I've only ever had one, and it's just like the little thing, the wire attachment that goes to the basket and then hooks up. And also, I don't have another hook. Like, I need to have Jason drill a hole, and we know how he feels about putting holes into walls. So that was a big step for him to agree to hang this one. <laughs> for now, I've watered it, and it's just kind of sitting here. I'm hoping it gets some sunshine. Um, I might actually put this one out there on the rock. Um, just to, it, doesn't, it doesn't look so good. He needs a little perk up, but hopefully the afternoon sunshine will help him. So you can see we were kind of busy um, kind of being outside and it was sunny and it was nice and we were waiting to deal with Ashley's bus driver, which is not a good situation, but we will deal with that another time. Um, so we have some of our old boxes of oatmeal that we have here on the bottom row. Um, I'm just going to show you kind of what we have done out here with the extra food that we were able to buy. Um, we have a whole box um, just with cereal and oats that are in that box down there. It's kind of back stock. So we'll use this cereal and this oatmeal first, and then we can pull that out and pull from there. Um, this I need to actually just probably take inside because we have a mice problem. Where are the little mouse traps? Have we caught one? There's a mouse trap there. Where's the other one? It's right back there. Can you see it? mouse trap right there because the little buggers um, we're taking boxes of granola bars um, which is why now we're putting all these kinds of things in this box they would have we found boxes of granola bars that were open just like this so we could get to them but we found a granola bar actually mo multiple granola bars and the package had been chewed open all along here and there was no granola bar inside and I was like, no more. I'm not going to deal with that. We had to throw that whole thing away because we didn't know what had gotten into it. So kind of came up with this idea to put all of the snacks in this bucket. And I'm going to open up multiple kinds of, of snacks. This is just regular chocolate covered granola bars. And then I have like some better protein granola bars, um, some think bars. I, like I have a bunch of different kinds coming in the mail. And also, I think we might go Costco. I don't know. I think 
we're stocked up with what I've ordered. It's a lot. I just want you to know, it's a lot of stuff. But we just got so sick of spending so much of our paycheck every single month just to buy all the excess stuff. And anyway, so we just bought a whole bunch all at once. And then we can just go to Costco and get the milk, the cheese, the bread, the fresh fruit, fresh veggies, and put that in the fridge and eat that more often and then just have this all as kind of back stock. Um, like I have diced peaches up here, but we also, we also rearranged all of our canned goods. So these cans right here and right there are all peaches and a apple sauce or apple, what do you call it? Apple juice from when we made our apple sauce. This is our newest batch from last year. Look how pretty. But this is all we have left. We have, what, two dozen jars of applesauce left and two dozen, two dozen jars of peaches. And then we have about, how many do we have left? Eight jars of my sister's precious apricot jam from the apricot trees that burnt down. This is the last batch we got out of that and we, we made that with my mom. But we sorted through all that so we can get to this. Mainly it's Jason pulling the applesauce to make waffles with. But I also told him to use the peaches and put into his waffle mix as well. Because it'll work the same way. And then we can sort through the last of the peaches. And then we put all of our empty jars that were filling this entire space. And it was such a waste. We've put all of the empty jars up here. This one still is kind of empty. And I can put other jars in there as they come out of the wash. And then we moved them. Maybe I didn't show you any of this. <laughs> Again, we just kind of got um, excited and worked on this. So this is all of the empty jars. We had applesauce for days, for years actually, when we did it a long time ago. And so we have an excess of jars. But I had room on this shelf over here because I have decluttered so much space. And as you can see, I have decluttered a lot of my home decor and that's where these buckets came from. So I was able to put these here. We don't need to get to them until we do make applesauce or peaches this fall. But for right now, they're out of the way. But that left up so much shelf space, which was kind of why we realized, let's fill it up with stuff that we can keep in boxes so that the mice can't get to it like this. Like this guy is gonna put get put into here because as soon as I open this package of um, graham crackers, the mice are gonna be able to get into the boxes. Um, but I'm gonna keep um, items like these peaches in the boxes and then we'll take them out individual boxes and put them in the house and we'll be able to use them better. Um, and I do love my little soap. Uh, I do love my little soup um, dispenser and I've thought about getting another one because we just ordered. I don't even know, probably like 10 more of these soups. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to keep them in their box or if I'm going to get another little rotator like this one. I just haven't decided. Um, down in this bin right here, we actually have all of our pastas and pasta sauces. So ironically, we actually only bought these little um, pasta packets here and the Velveeta cheese. The rest we already had. We had like this um, miso ramen. We already had that. Um, we already had some of the um, white and red sauces. We did order some more of these. But then the bottom whole section of this bin was all boxes of pastas that we have just gotten from the grocery store. But I put these little packets into baggies so that you can pull them out and get to, say, the penne pasta down below. But then all the critters can't access it because I have it in a bin, but we can get to it ourselves and get some pasta out. And we're going to keep this bin light with just the snacky stuff so that we can pull it down and access the pasta bucket. So I kind of feel bad that we didn't film that entire process, but it was kind of just in, in the moment like, oh shoot, we got to do this because um, the packages are coming in the mail and they'll be coming in the mail all week long, even though we got a ton yesterday, um, more are coming. And so we just kind of quickly had to like shuffle things around and clean things up and it was driving our allergies crazy and we were sneezing and blowing our nose and. And so we just didn't film them. We didn't film any of that. Um, but more right here. Kind of leaving a lot of it out because it's all coming 
kind of jumbled up and I want to be able to like put all the baking supplies in one bucket so that I know where they are and like I bought some extra snacks to like be able to take for our game nights because every Friday I go to the store and what's extra something extra I can get but I want to be able to just some, pull something fresh from the fridge to take fruits veggies something like that but then a snack that I just haven't like had to run to the store for every single week so we've kind of stocked up on those things as well so anyway that's kind of what we have been up to um but I kind of just put the camera down and didn't really film that whole process but now I'm kind of starting my day I kind of want to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and look at the concrete paint and get a little hook for my plant and the little wire basket holder and then I want to go oh I need to go and get Chelsea I'm trying to think of what to have for breakfast I just don't really feel like granola and a yogurt that's what I should do it's granola and a yogurt um what was I gonna say oh Chelsea poor Chelsea she reminded me last night our, our tray doesn't pull out again it's frozen again this little tray down here oh it comes out Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I guess it's not frozen today. It was frozen there yesterday. So Chelsea forgot um, at the airport when we went to Hawaii that she had a full size bottle of perfume <laughs> in her bag, in her carry on bag. I had been so good at like making sure I watched what everyone put into their bags. She put it in there the night before we left. I zipped it right up and I didn't pay attention to it. We put it into the car, luggage rack, and it was like there until we were at the airport. And she walked up to me in near tears right after she came out of security because I had been dealing with Ashley's bag. Um, they didn't like the uh, fruit pouches that she had in there. And so um, she came up to me, she was in near tears, and she's like, Mom, they took all of my perfume. Can I borrow yours for in Hawaii? And then can you replace it when we get home? And she's like new to wearing perfume, right? That's why it's from like Bath and Body Works. And so I thought it was so cute that she was worried about it. And I was like, yeah, but I had forgotten. And she hasn't mentioned it to me until yesterday. And she's like, I'm betting that there'll be like some sales for Mother's Day. Maybe you can go get something for yourself and then you can get my perfume too. So. I am gonna treat myself to something because it is like the buy two, get one free um, at Bath and Body Works. So I think I'll go do that. I'm trying to eat before I leave. Um, so we'll take you with me on a couple errands but I kind of just need to explain some of them um, before I go and catch you up to what we've been up to. Got some granola. I literally just bought this bag from Target. So it's not, I should have gotten a Costco sized bag, but literally it's almost gone. And this is what I've been saying. I'm like, I am at the grocery store all the time. And I am meticulous about lists. I like check the pantry, check the fridge, check the freezer. And I go to the store and I come home and the kids are like, oh, we need syrup. And I'm like, bloody, I'm just gonna stock up on everything. And that way we don't have to spend all of our time with this sunny weather. That was kind of a, a big motivator, is that this sunny weather, we were like, we want to be outside, not running to the store. Like, <laughs> so we're getting stocked up um, and that way we can be able to enjoy life outside of a grocery store. Okay, I'm at Lowe's and men must be just as intimidated walking into like Joanne Fabrics as I am walking into Lowe's. <laughs> Trying to find the right hook. I think that's like too fat. Um, and there's music playing, so I'm just gonna have to find what I can so that you know, I don't get copyright on this music. Okay, I got the hooks that I needed. This one is for the actual basket. And I couldn't find like the whole basket ring holder like we have at home. So I just got the chains. The guy's like, you just hook this onto the side of the basket and it should work. So you're gonna try that. And then because I had to take down my cute little um, wind chime um, from the hook that was there, I got two little ones um, to hang up next to the basket. Jason's gonna love that I have another hole that we're gonna put up there, but you know. All right, I keep forgetting to, <laughs> to film when I get, um, 
when I'm doing things. But we just got another shipment in um, from Amazon. More things to stock up on. Let me show you. Let me show you really quick. So I know it looks overkill, but I always run out of um, oil. Um, and then this is actually from my pantry. Um, just some powdered sugar. I'm gonna create a whole baking bin. Um, this was already here. I got peanut butter, cocoa powder, syrups, and Nutella's. Those were here yesterday, but I'm kind of creating a baking section here along with these two guys. I'm just gonna move this so it's not in my entryway. These ones came, <laughs> this is just for fun. Um, just sometimes we just kind of get cravings, but like Abby just wants a cookie, <laughs> but she doesn't want to make a whole batch. And I just thought it was kind of fun to just make this. And we can also take this for our game nights as well. Cause we don't like a ton of like snack, like sugary snacks, but this is like the perfect size where we can each have like a little portion of it, um, and have a little goodie, but I've got, I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> It's also helpful in the summer, like when the kids are all um, coming over here, their friends or whatnot, um, they can quickly put one of these in the oven and, or microwave, it microwaves in two minutes. Look at that, even easier. I also underestimated the size on this one. <laughs> Do you wanna see what size I thought this was? I thought I was getting such a killer deal on this. Okay, let me show you. That's the size I thought I was getting. I was like, whoa, how come I haven't looked at this on Amazon before? It's a way better price. Yeah, that's why, because it's like, like not even a fourth the size. So I actually have one more of these out in the garage. And, oh, and I have one, it came with two. <laughs> I just ordered two because it lasts a long time. But I've been talking to my dad a lot about upping protein. And he's doing the same thing. He's doing intermittent fasting and having a high protein lunch and an early protein dinner or a really um, protein filled like shake in the late afternoon if he doesn't eat a big dinner. Um, and he was really interested in this, but he hadn't ever heard of like protein powders. And so he's just not wanting to like buy the big sizes. And so I told him I would just send him this little teeny tiny one because that will make me happy to like know that he can give that a try. So I'm just gonna take the same wrapping that it came in. <laughs> like it literally just came in. I was like, what came in? Like what did I order that was so small when everything else came in like these giant boxes from Amazon? And I was like, what came that was so small? Anyway, I'm gonna just repackage that and <laughs> send that to my dad. Since she doesn't have an appearance very often, I'll catch her. I actually went in and got this for her while I was out, but um, I had to run to Target to go to the bathroom. So I, I literally like had to run in there. I'm like, don't convince me to get the three for, buy three, get two free. Or don't convince me to like get anything else because I have to go to the bathroom. So I ran in and I bought this really fast and then dashed back out and then I came home. So that is yours. Next time you know now, not to put this in your plane bag at the last I, minute. I tried giving it to you. When? I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> in any other bag that we had, goof. I've been talking about, like, it's fine. It's, fine. it's all fine. Why'd you put this? Okay, I also put away a few things in here. I've got green beans um, going on back here just because there's no more room out in the garage and there's no more room on this little container here. Then I filled up um, Ashley's little. Um, Go-Gurts, not these Go-Gurts, what are these? Um, the veggie pouches. She has one more from the old kind right there. Then I have three different kinds of bars in here. I have the Rice Krispie bars, and then um, these uh, protein granola bars, as well as the chocolate covered granola bars. And then I have the Nature Valley Crunch bars and the kind protein bars back there. So I stocked all that up from what I just got. Um, I've got some Velveeta cheese. I got a package of, or a couple packages of that. Put that here. Ashley's gonna make some muffins. If she's bored tonight, she can do that. Stocked up on canned chicken because when I want to make a quick, like chicken salad sandwich or a salad this summer, I want to just be able to like have that rather than have to worry about having actual chicken or cook it or whatever. And same with, um, I have a box of light tuna back there. Um, just little packets of it. So, 
Got the pantry on that side stocked up. These are some fruit cups as well. Um, I need one more box of cereal to come in. I think I have regular Honey Nut Cheerios. And then I had um, very berry Cheerios that I added just now. Got a few boxes of those. Um, we need to just use our Rice Krispies um, to make some, what do you call them, Rice Krispie treats because my kids don't like eating <laughs> Rice Krispies. I don't know why. This, this has been sitting here for a while. They just don't eat that. So I'll fill that with more Cheerios. And then we have this easy mac and cheese. Chelsea actually requested this um, because she can take this to school. Even though she only has like what, six weeks left of school. She can take these and a little um, Tupperware and put water in it and then she can microwave and make herself like mac and cheese. But she can also make it here at home because a lot of the time they make a whole box of mac and cheese and only one person wanted it and my kids refuse to eat leftover mac and cheese. So this is actually a win. And normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm just kind of trying to make life a little bit easier these days, especially for like kids being able to function on their own. All uh, the pasta buckets are all full. Didn't do anything different with that. Got um, like three or four of these containers. I didn't, again, look at the ounces. I didn't realize how big this is. This is a giant box of um, pretzels. And then I moved some pasta boxes into one of these bins just cause I didn't want the boxes in here. So, but these are like good snacks for the kids. This is good for the summer. These are great for the rest of the school year and we'll just keep this cycled through um, from the garage. Out here, I just filled this up because I got a few more different kinds of granola bars and I had some Nature Valley, Nature Bakery. What are these ones? These are the fig bars, the blueberry. I love these. And they are, I think these ones were good on protein. How many grams of protein? There are sugars in this one, three grams of protein. But if you just want to like a breakfast bar, a lot of the time if I have to rush out unexpectedly, I grab this kind of stuff from here in the garage. Um, and then also some cliff bars. And um, I told my kids and Jason, open the boxes from the little short end, like the little end, not the long end, like that one. So that when they're in this bin, this is the opened end and I can open like this one on this end and we can get into it this way that way I can stack a whole bunch of them this way but no they decided to open it the wrong way so they don't get access to any more of those ones because they opened it the wrong way they're going to use this one first and again like I didn't need to open but now I have to put this one in here because it's open and the stupid mice will get it so they're not understanding my game then we have some granola bars in here as well as some quest cookies I've actually seen these on um, TikTok and decided to give these a try when the kids are wanting an extra sweet, maybe to take to the park, go to their friends, or even in their school lunch. But it is packed with protein as well. So I've got that all done up. Um, we got one more box of goldfish. I know this seems excessive, but I'm literally buying a box of goldfish like this, like every other week from Costco. So whatever. Like, I just don't have to add that to my list. And then you can see the, the buckets of pretzels back there. Didn't know that they were going to be that big. Um, Abby's calling me. Not sure why. Um, breakfast drinks. We go through these like crazy. These are smaller than the size from Costco. But I got a lot of them. Then I also stocked up on these um, veggie pouches. Especially going into the summer. I just know Ashley well enough. That when she's going to go for play dates um, or have kids over, she doesn't like to stop to eat. And I just need to have her um, have these accessible. So these are one brand and then this is the one we've had in the past. This one's just applesauce though. These ones are the veggie pouches. So those are actually like tucked in there nice and tight. So I've got these ones just as a backup. Then we got cases of ramen and more of that easy mac and cheese for the kids to eat um, and teenagers when they're over a lot more this summer. And then there's those very berry Cheerios that I got and the two last Rice Krispie boxes. I need to just have them make some Rice Krispie treats one of these days. I wanted to sit down on the couch for an hour, but <laughs> I can go and scroll TikTok um, from outside on the sidewalk while I walk around. <laughs> um, but I haven't showed you guys the update on my tattoo. It is all healed, but you haven't like seen the up close. 
All right, Chelsea's here trying to see it too. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> it's very faint. It's just so like, there's an A. That's Ashley's that A. Uh huh. Oh. Then that C is Kaylee's. I thought you got it in black. Nope. And then that's Abby's right there. And then Chelsea, your C. Again. <laughs> is right there. It's just and C then the D A C A. Uh huh. And then the D J is right there. It's really subtle. I didn't want it to really stand out from like a distance. Like from back here, you can't even see it. But like up close, we know that it's there. So it's all healed up. There's no um, dry skin on it anymore. Um, but it healed really fast because it was so tiny. So I'm literally just gonna grab my headphones and head outside. I'm gonna walk for an hour and then meet Ashley at the bus stop. But I'm also kind of expecting Abby's surgeon to call me. I haven't gotten like a an appointment reminder for it. Um, I don't think they canceled it. Abby doesn't need to be on the call. She wanted to, or I asked her if she wanted to be, and she said she didn't want to talk to him. She was uh, understood everything that was going on. Um, but I'm just going to clarify that we were on the same page and. Don't need to do anything else and then um, should be good to go but that happens right at the same time ashley's bus is here so i've just got to have my earbuds in in case the doctor calls and uh can chat really quick but i need to be outside with this bus driver because he's kind of a work of art i yelled at him yesterday after being civil i was civil at first but <laughs> and then i was like mm, yeah you're done i'm done with you He's just a type that likes to yell at women. Let's just say Ashley that. And saying, little girls. Ashley said, like, he was like, you have to sit up in the front because you have an attitude. He's like, no wonder you sit up in the front all day. Because, like, like, I was like, you should say that to the bus driver. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I was like, she doesn't have an attitude until you tell her she can't sit in the seat she wants to sit in. There's no reason why she can't sit in her assigned seat in the back. I'm just, and I even told him that. I was like, she wouldn't have a problem. She'd be fine. Just move her to the back of the bus and she'll be perfectly fine. And he's like, no, she needs to learn a lesson. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to put you down. I'm going to go outside and go for a walk. Okay. It's never ending today. Right before I went out for my walk, I went to move the laundry and the little notice on it shows that the filter is full, which means it's about to overflow get water all over my floor unless I clear out the filter and I'm guessing it's filled with tissues because a certain someone doesn't like to clear out his pockets as evidence of all the tissues on the floor that's from one man's load of laundry and yes I said man There's only one man in this house so this little alert on my washer this better not get all over the place. Okay, in case you're new, haven't done this with me before. This is how you clean out your filter. Did you know you're supposed to clean out your filter? And you get this little tube. Don't open that until you drain out with the tube. So I can't do this with you guys in my hands. So I'm going to take this cap off and we're going to drain the water. Yes, that beep is going to happen until I fix this. I'm going to drain out into this bucket and then I'll be able to undo this little cap and pull out the filter. It's a slow drain at a small tilt. So it's, I wish they had made this like higher up so you had like a better way to drain this tube out because you're like so low to the ground. It's like really hard to drain it out. Putting the cap back on, putting that back up in there can't see it can't see where it goes in but hopefully that drained all the water I always tuck in a towel just in case when you pull this out and I might put you down in case water goes everywhere uh, there's oh see oh, that's nasty okay got that cleaned put back in Let's see if, hallelujah. I didn't really want to mess with anything more than just that. Make sure it's gonna go. Start, start. 
water without dripping. Lock. Yay! Look at me. Go, go, gadget wife. But while I'm down here, because I don't like to <laughs> get back up unless I have done all of my job, I've got Clorox wipes in here with me. Might as well wipe this whole thing. It's really nasty. So I'm going to do that real quick. I forgot about you guys. <laughs> I forgot I was filming today. I had such a good walk today at the church when I took Chelsea to um, her activity at the church. But I also walked before that while I was waiting to get her at the bus. So I walked a total of eight miles today. Did great and the weather was perfect. Um, I've got one who doesn't feel good down here. Not sure what stomach crampy is going on. And then Abby is sick with allergies and possibly a really bad cold. Um, and so I just gave her some of my Ninja Creamy. You guys, I have found my number one <laughs> recipe. This is the Fairlife chocolate drink and a PB Fit scoop. I think maybe I did two scoops of PB Fit. Oh, and a chocolate chocolate pudding powder. Yeah, yeah that's what I did, right? Yeah. You want to try a bite? Yeah. You can have one bite. And tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Luckily, I, she's not sick. I think she just has sore muscles or... Good, huh? She's exactly like it. Right? Like a frosty? Or just like a really good ice cream. Let me see what Jason thinks. Try a, try a bite. Figured every video is better with me in it. <laughs> you can't even... Mm. That's good, huh? So there's protein in the Fair Life, there's protein in the PB Fit, and there's, well, sugar in the protein, in the pudding. <laughs> I don't have the sugar-free kind yet. I'm not a big chocolate fan, but this is a really good recipe. Yeah, it's a good one, huh? So I'm going to end my day with some protein. I did not quite get to my protein. I'm, I'm learning how to count um, and get my protein levels for the day, but I'm, I'm not there. I'm learning how to do that. I'm trying to eat less. Oh, but you could eating protein. Oh, more protein, like yeah, uh, but just less, like yeah. less carbs and. Okay, I'm. I'm. This is mine. <laughs> You're gonna put the spoon back in. I have been waiting. This is what I wanted to accomplish with this creamy is something to look forward to. Dude, you need to put the spoon down. I did. I put it no, in. No, something to look forward to after walking a lot and doing my part. Now I can sit down and not feel guilty for my ice cream. And you're gonna go to bed. And Dad, are you going up I'm to bed? I'll her back. Maybe you can help me load. You have a, you're getting a lot of eye strain. I think you need to stop watching. Take a couple days off. Okay, okay. Say goodnight to everyone because I don't look good. So you're going to say, it's now always better when you are thanks on. Thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Your wife Subscribe. did a ton of stuff today without you. All on my own. I'm good. wonderful. Good. But I'm glad you could end it for us. Yes. Okay. Hanging at home. Teamwork. <laughs> Night, folks.